Sometimes your friends are way too nice and not petty, and sometimes you have to be petty for them. So that's what today's video was. Get you a friend like Tana, yo. Please, please don't. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, as of the time of recording this, I just watched Tana Mojo's video with this dude Zach about stuff that went on with Bryce. I was first notified about this because Tristan was telling me the other night, she's like, yo, Tana is freaking out on Twitter. And I'm like, ugh, I don't even wanna know what's going on. But because we are gluttons for punishment, uh, we watched the video. And yeah, there's some topics that I wanna talk about with this because, you know, like mental health, something I'm trying to do with this channel when talking about mental health, like mental health is so much more than a lack of having a mental illness. It is so much different, right? Like you don't need to be physically unhealthy and have a disease in order to take care of your body and eat healthy foods. Same thing with your mental health. So part of mental health is knowing who to hang out with. So I, I did a video the other day um, about like why people watch Tana Mojo and basically what I was talking about is a lot of people can identify, to Tana or they hang out with people like Tana, right? So like this video is about like why you need to judge who you're hanging out with. Like, here's the thing. A lot of people think that judgment is bad. Like don't judge people, don't judge anybody. Like this is an insane expectation of humans. You wanna know why? Because based on our evolution, based on our, uh, our survival, right? We have to judge people. We absolutely have to judge people. L okay, let's go back to the caveman days, right? Let's say that there was some caveman out there and he was constantly like, hey, I'm gonna go wrestle with a lion, right? You'd have to judge that person's behavior and say, this person might get me into some trouble that might kill me, okay? So we need to judge people in our lives to know whether or not we should hang out with them. So I want you to watch this because Tana Mojo is probably never gonna see this video, but like if you have people in your life like Tana, you need to stop hanging out with them or set up some boundaries. Or, you know, if it's like a brother or a sister or like a friend that you've grown up with, like, it's okay to love them from a distance. Trust me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I have a lot of crazy friends who are still out there doing a lot of crazy things. I love them to death from a distance. I check in on them, I see how they're doing, we have conversations, but we don't hang out. Because in order for me to stay mentally healthy, I cannot have that chaos in my life, right? And here's the thing about Tana. Tana is constantly having chaos in her life. So if you have people in your life who are constantly having chaos by coincidence, which it never is, you need to figure out, is this good for your mental health? So what I want you to do, what I want you to do throughout this entire video, I want you to keep going back to Tana Mojo saying that she's a huge advocate for self-reflection and growth. Like, Tana, please. Girl, like this, one of the reasons I'm making this video, one of the reasons why I talk to you guys so much about who you're hanging out with and you know, the types of people that people are is because I used to be a terrible person. I used to be the worst, most awful person on earth, okay? And here's the thing. I used to always tell people like, oh, I'm trying to improve, I'm trying to get better. Like I mentioned, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. You know how many times I told people, hey, I'm trying to be a better person, I'm trying to be a better father, I'm trying to be a better boyfriend, I'm trying to be a better son, I'm trying to be a better friend, all these other things, but my behavior never changed. My behavior never changed. And this is a form of manipulation. What people like Tana do, what people like I used to do, is tell you just what you needed to hear to get you off our back for a minute and maybe disguise and mask all the messed up things that we're doing. Like you guys, like after TanaCon, we thought that that would be you know, um, a life-changing moment for her. And I already know the comments that are gonna come and say, oh, Tana's young, Tana's this, Tana's that. And that's no longer an excuse. Like, I, I am the last person you could say like, oh, they're young, give them a break or whatever. Like, when you're an adult, like when you're an adult, like you need to start taking responsibility for the, the, the decisions that you're making, all right? And that's something that happened to me. Like, I didn't start taking responsibility for my decisions, my dumb, 
idiotic decisions that were causing chaos in my life until I was 27 years old when I got sober. So yeah, maybe Tana will grow out, uh, grow out of this. Like I, I hope the best for Tana. I hope the best for everybody on this planet, right? I love everybody. I just don't like everybody and I wouldn't necessarily hang out with everybody. But I don't think that anybody is a lost cause and there's always uh, a way to improve. But it is complete BS when somebody like Tana says that they're a huge advocate for self-improvement, self-growth, and self-reflection. Like what absolutely blew my mind was how she started her video with this disclaimer saying this, and then throughout the video, she was saying stuff like this. As you guys know, I'm a petty ass bitch. Like it is 1000% contradictory to tell somebody that I'm about self-improvement, self-growth, uh, self-reflection, and then minutes later say that you are a, a petty ass person, right? Like those two things don't go together. Like they just, they just don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like that'd be like me telling you I'm a mentally healthy psychotic person. Like, no, that's like an oxymoron, all right? So she, she, I think in Tana's situation or people's situation, I know my situation was I lacked self-awareness, okay? I lied to myself a lot. I lied to myself and say, Chris, you are trying. Chris, you are trying to be a good person. When the reality was, I was still causing chaos everywhere I went. All right, that part right there is absolutely mind blowing, okay? Like she put up this thing on the screen. Like this, this reminds me of when Logan Paul came sideways at Shane Dawson and said like, Shane, you're scaring your young audience, right? First off, I pretty much concluded that Shane, Shane's audience isn't all that young because I took some surveys and I had people comment. I'm still getting comments on that video about how old people are. Most people are in their mid to late twenties, all right? But when it comes to Tana Mojo, like she's saying, she knows, she, she acknowledges that she has a young audience. Like, I'm not even gonna show any clips, but have you ever watched a Tana Mojo video? Have you ever watched a Tana Mojo video? You cannot contradict yourself by saying, hey, I have a young, innocent, impressionable audience, but your story times are constantly made for adults. So here's a clip, here's a clip that I want you all to kind of sit back and recognize, all right? And understand what's happening here. I made a video not too long ago like, are we really surprised that Tana Mojo screwed up TanaCon? And basically the whole idea of that video was people who are shocked, people who are surprised by the chaos that ensues in their life, right? That just keeps coming in. I don't get it, I don't get it. One of Tana's famous lines is, this could only happen to me. Like, like the stars just align for chaos. So look at this clip right here and look at this face she's making. Not even that deep. He just kept hitting me, like kept doing it. And I was like really drunk, so I'm like my balance wasn't great. I most definitely fell into the bathtub and I remember being in the bathtub with my hands like this, like, bro, stop, like, stop hitting me, stop, 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 and just Like, this is Tana acting completely surprised about this chaos, like, like, she lives this, like, perfectly quiet, normal life, she's just a young woman who likes to go out, have fun, nothing crazy ever happens, but here's a clip from a different video from just a few weeks ago. And I walk up and I'm like, what's up? And I lean in to say what's up to this girl, and the girl girlfriend was in the very back of the car and she like dodges her body forward like over the middle seat like over the front seat like whole body like through the car and grabs my hair like the entire side of my hair and I'm like oh my god God. Like you guys, this is why I'm saying you need to be a better judge of character when you're hanging out with people. Like if if things like this keep happening every time you go out, like I want you to sit back and reflect. Do you have a friend where every time you go out, drama happens, right? Like, do you think that's just a coincidence? Like do a little experiment with yourself. Like try to not hang out with that person for a little while and see See if your life changes a little bit, okay? Like, some of you have noticed this, like maybe some of you when you moved out of your parents' house, or some of you when you got a, a new roommate or an old roommate left, or you got your own place, you notice like, oh wow, the stress levels in my life have actually gone down. And this is why all of this has to do with mental health, right? Like I said in my Anna Akana video the other day, like, you have to identify what problems you're causing, right? Like. 
when if you're a victim of childhood trauma, not your fault. But if you're hanging out with people who are increasing your stress levels, that is something that you can change. You can set up boundaries and not hang out with those people. It is very, it is not very easy, but it's very logical to say, listen, I love you, but I cannot hang out with you, right? Now listen, listen, here's my thing. I was young, I was crazy, I did all these things, like that was the lifestyle I was in, but looking back on it, I, I had no right to play the victim. I had no right to play the victim, like, oh my God, why do crazy things only happen to me? Like that was, that was a form of delusion that I lived in for a long time, a very long time. Like if you love the chaos and you embrace the chaos, do your thing, baby, do your thing. I'm not here to judge but I don't want you to sit back and have these chaotic friends surrounding you and for you to sit here and be confused or as shocked as Tana is when crazy things happen. If you go out and leave, live a crazy lifestyle, crazy things are going to happen. That's how life works. I've mentioned it in other videos before. I do not have a crazy life anymore. I hang out, that's what I do. I make YouTube videos, play video games with my son, hang out with my beautiful girlfriend, mess around with my cats, you know, like life is pretty chill today, all right? So if you want a chill life, if you wanna decrease your chaos, start removing chaotic people from your lives, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below, have you had to cut people out of your life? Have you had to cut friends out of your life because every time you hung out with them or every time you talked to them, there was constantly drama or chaos going on, all right? Let's have a conversation down below. But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. Oh, and surprise, my mom, some of you have already met, she's gonna be on my channel because she's coming to town this weekend for Christmas. Booyah! Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.